And we are back with our second golf auction this weekend with the Masters. Um, both these auctions ended up finishing. And some crazy stuff in here also. This was the golf auction. And we see one sale close to $500,000 for some autographs and a Masters batch, which is very tough to find. And a card reaching almost $30,000, which Matt unfortunately lost. Matt's the guest here on the channel today. Matt's Vincent Vault on Instagram knows a ton about autograph cards and slowly dipping into the golf side of things. Yeah. We'll talk about my, uh, my, my losses in this. I actually didn't pick up a couple other ones in here too. So it was a night of not winning things that I wanted. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll dive into them. So the first thing we have to talk about is I, I sold this all over social media People were saying this is the highest price ticket of all time that went to auction or somewhere around the lines of that 100%. Um, 400 and what, 72,000? Let's see, where was the final price? 470,000 and $857. Original Masters signed by Bobby Jones, as well as a lot of other people, I think, hit sold by Hagen and uh, the winner of the 34, Champ Horton. Yeah, Champ Horton. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty wild ticket there i don't even know what it would really correlate to in the other sports when you think about signed tickets um it's just a ridiculous one there with all these people i'm surprised it stayed as well it looks super flimsy um so you know not only am i surprised the the ticket itself stayed intact but the autographs actually don't look that bad considering you know, they're 90 years old um, and look like they were signed in either like light pen or I can't tell if that's pencil. pencil. I always think it was pencil. pencil. I can't tell. Um, so can't believe the pencil stuck around that long. I have stuff signed in pencil that looks worse than that and is only half the age. So, you know, super nice. Let's see if they say with his pen or pencil. I'm just glancing really quick. If Only not, three fully intact 34 Masters tickets have ever been found. That's crazy. Yeah. And this is the best one, I believe, because of all the autographs. Too. Oh, others selling for 600K as the most expensive sports ticket ever. Wow. Yeah. So this wasn't the most expensive people thought it was going to be. But still, like you get 470000 I think you're pretty happy with that sale. Yeah, if you're the buyer, um, considering that, you probably can't be too mad either because you paid less than the other one. So, you know, I, I can't imagine they're upset about that. Up next, we have a Bobby Jones only winner's trophy offered 1916 Cherokee trophy as a 14 year old. Yeah, that's uh, I saw this. I had no clue where this was going to end up. Um, he had, there's a type one photo that's related to this one as well. I had no clue where this actual trophy was going to up. I didn't know if people were going to want it that bad or not, but you know, hundred grand, it did pretty well. Now let's talk about uh, your loss for the night because you collect these baseball cards. I do. I have 14 star player candies. Um, I have started selling my commons. If anyone's interested in my commons, I started selling them. Um, I do have the Lefty Grove rookie. I do have the Chick Hafey rookie as well as some other Hall of Famers. So this was one that I wanted to add quite a bit. I was the the leading bidder twice throughout the night. I was leading bidder around 8K. I was leading bidder around 20K. Um, neither of them held up over time. But this is one, you know, I had told you I thought this was only going to go for like 5K. Because and I laughed Dempsey, at your price. And I laughed Jack, at it. Jack Dempsey went for like, I think like 4K. And you were like, there's no way this is only going for 5K. And I was like, no way people are going to pay more for Bobby Jones than Jack Dempsey. But, I, you know, blew me away and, and, and walked away from it. This is one that I, just my love of star player candies, I really wish I would have picked up. And personally, like as someone that collects boxing and also has a good amount of golf cards, the reason why Jack Dempsey doesn't go for as much is there's a ton of rare boxing cards out there. And this is way later in Jack Dempsey's career. Uh, his first card is debatable whether it's 1918, 19, or 1920. Um, there, I've seen multiple ranges posted beyond there. And there's a lot of cards from like 1921 through 25. 
he has Cuban cards that are like pop one or pop two that are extremely rare, but also just the total amount of cards like Jack Dempsey has a ton of cards printed in the 1920s. Bobby Jones doesn't really have that many cards printed in the 1920s and also like scarce cards. He has a few things I believe from Germany that are pretty tough to find and a few other oddballs out there. Um, but being that there's just a handful of oddballs and a lot of golf collectors do pay up. As soon as this was out here, I mean, I, I talked to a few people that were bidding well over $10,000 for this card. Yeah, I was, I was, I, I think I texted you when I was in the lead at like eight grand and I was like, dude, I was like, oh, we're taking it home. You know, we're going to be good here. And it literally, I think I like refreshed and it was like at 15. I sat there for a little bit. I bid again at like 20. I waited for a little bit, refreshed, and I was done. I was like, dude, I'm not, this isn't my night, man. This thing's not going yeah. cheap. $29,462. Um, beyond Ruth, though, I'm just curious, where does this sale end up in the, the Star Player Candy, uh, like comp wise? This, I believe, is should be third behind Grange um, and behind Ruth. I think this sells for a bit more than the Cobb. You used to be able to get the Cobb for like 15 to 20 ish. Um, there actually is a guy who brings them in the national. Um, I've seen the Cobb there at the national a little bit. This is probably third. The Grange, I don't believe, is ever publicly sold. So all my knowledge is on private sales of that. Um, but I believe it's probably third behind those two. And what would the Grange sell for? And people, if you're not familiar, he's one of the greatest football players um, in the 1920s. I think probably just a bit more than this, because um, I actually think this has more buyers than the Grange. I don't think there's a ton. Like Bobby Jones is like an iconic golfer. Grange is iconic to football fans. Like he's not like, you know. It, if I asked someone who doesn't know anything about football, they wouldn't know who Red Grange is. So I, I think that maybe just a bit more than this one would. Um, there are also more, I believe there's, I don't want to get this wrong. I think there's three Granges that exist. So, you know, more than, than this one. And I'm curious with the sale, if other Bobby Jones are going to hit the market. Well, I would love if another one hit the market. So I have another shot at it, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Another card over here, 1996 Tiger Woods signed autograph. This was a perforated card, five. This was an auto 10. I did text a, a few people, and this was this sold kind of where it was expected to be. Yeah, this is a sweet one. I do love this card, um, VSI car. I think it's I think it's actually a, a pretty good looking card, all things considered. Um, I didn't know how rare the signed ones were before this came up. I I had never seen one, but I had seen the you know there's plenty of the normal ones out there. So this was this is actually a really cool card. The black sharpie actually looks really good on this. What's funny is there's only four of these signed as well. Uh, there yeah. was four uh, upper deck and there was four 1996 SI for kids. Yeah, does not sign his early stuff. Yeah, that's a super nice auto on that. That really does look mm -hmm. clean. Uh, we'll keep going over here. Type one photo for you, ten thousand dollars, or actually eleven thousand over here. Nineteen forty-five Master Champs in green jackets in front of the clubhouse. Yeah, it's a nice shot. Um, didn't have a clue where this was going to go, considering they weren't actually playing it. I, I mean, I guess they have the green jackets on, so that's pretty close. But wasn't really sure where this was going to go. But it is it's a actually a pretty clean photo. going through another Bobby Jones autograph over here. Oh, 1916. This is what we were talking about earlier. Yes. This is the one that I, I actually bid on a little bit. Um, this is a, I don't understand why this one is cheaper. I mean, I guess the other ones are encapsulated in PSA. So I guess people paid a little bit more for that, but earlier photo, better shot to me. Like this is a, Awesome. It is a, a, a news photo, so people don't always love that. Um, but I I thought this was I, I'm surprised this went for under 5k to be honest. I think it's super nice. 
It has a PSA uh, stamp or not stamp, but a sticker on the back too. Yeah, so. they did the they did the letter. They didn't encapsulate it. They did the letter. Yeah. Yeah, I think whoever bought this, um, you know, it's annoying that you beat me on it, but I think you paid a really nice price for this. Were you the direct underbidder on that one? I don't think I was directly. And once I bid on the star player, my my focus shifted over to that. And I said, if I win the other things, I win the other things. But once I, I don't think, where did it end up? 4K, you said? 4K, yeah. Yeah, I think I was a little bit further down. I think I stopped around like 25 or like 28 or something like that. And I at that point, I had to shift over to the star player. Keep going through some more. Bobby Jones, another autograph over here, graded nine GSA thirty three. Yeah, that uh, was this, one I actually looked at a ton because that autograph is really nice on that. I, the photo isn't anybody's favorite, but I mean that is like that is a beautiful autograph. Um, they said they they had in there when they think it was actually signed. I can't remember, but just you know, compared to some of the autos we saw earlier. Early 40s, it said. Super nice. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's a really nice sort of finish there. I'm surprised it stayed this well. Um, looks like it's signed in something a little bit darker um, than some of the pencil and things like that, but it, it stayed around really nice. And this was pasted in some album or something, because you can see all that black. Yeah. And black. I actually have a baseball card with the same exact <laughs> substance, so I know exactly. Um, this was a very high sale for a raw card. 1933 Bobby Jones. This is one. I don't believe any exists signed. There's none in PSA's database, so it would have to come from somebody else. I would love if there was an example of this card signed. Um, I would not make the same mistake I made with the Hagen a couple auctions ago, but I think it would. It honestly might just go too high for me to actually be competitive. I, th I think this would go for as much as the, the player's candy, to be honest with you, if it was signed. Yeah. I think it. I think it would. Um, yeah. Condition wise, though, what do you think about a four? That's what I think when I first saw this. Yeah, I'm curious what fours go yeah. for though. I, I think if it, I, I think if it got a three, it would be undergraded. If I got a five, it'd be overgraded. So no, I, I think four is fine. Maybe yeah, yeah, you know, a four. I'm just gonna quickly look up a comp and see if I can see if there's anything that's sold recently. But let's see. I'm really hoping there's a four sale. Oh, a two five just sold for thirteen twenty five. One MK sold for seven hundred. I've only owned a one, and I sold that a while ago. Those are only PSA sales. Let's see any SGC sales. Doesn't look like there's any recent. And I know I should be using a pricing app, but that's all right. Oh, you know what did sell though? A W590 Bobby Jones and a three sold for uh, two thousand dollars. Hmm. Not a bad sale there. We we're talking about the authentic. Yeah. Uh, now was another video, not this video. If someone's confused why. This also was a very high sale. Are you familiar with the Bane Shields? I am not at all. I hadn't seen them until this auction. So they, they printed them for a lot of different sports. They have cricket. They have golf. They also have soccer. I'm curious why this one's authentic alter. Maybe it is clipped right there. They're really cool. Um, but usually a Bane Shield of a normal golfer is a couple hundred dollars. This one sold for, uh, what, two grand? Something like that. Yeah. $2,000, which was a crazy high sale. But there is, I want to say there's a Varden and there's a Tom Morris. And both those are considered like holy grails of golf cards. Um, none have been available for auction recently like maybe 10 15 years since the last one is sold so there's like no idea where those would go i mean i would assume probably close to the bobby jones star candy value based off of the names and how rare those cards are uh but you can see what like this back looks like and there's someone that actually watches the channels that's writing a book on bane's shields um it's not out yet but when it does come out i'll definitely be covering it here because i think that's pretty awesome research that he's working on yeah, I think this is authentic because that corner snipped. That's why I think it is too. Yeah. Just looking at it, but lot not a lot out there with these, but they're yeah, super nice movies. too. The grill, by the way, of Bane Shields in general, 
and I, I could be wrong, but just from a little bit of talking about these, because I'm I'm nowhere near an expert, is the Wharton. Um, I believe is the first black soccer player. Could be wrong. Again, correct me if I am, but uh, that's what I believe is the grail of those. Anything else you want to cover so far that I'm just scrolling through? Um, let's see. I mean, there's a ton of awesome memorabilia here, but just outside my wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I don't. I'm scrolling. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna go to cards and see if there's any other cards real quick. And if not, we'll uh, call this a video. But there's 82 cards, so there has to be some other stuff in there. Jack Nicholas 81 autograph. Miller Press. This is the 83 set. This sold for 380 bucks. Yeah. Hey, look, but there's another Payne Stewart. Payne Stewart right there. Yeah. Uh, this was interesting. Gene Sarazen is earlier stuff, but 32 caramel popular set. This sold for 350 bucks. Let's see what the condition was. It's not bad condition also. Yeah, it's not bad. Probably a three. Tom Morrison, a one hundred bucks. That's a great entry level card. I'll, I'll end it off this one. But, uh, one hundred dollars for this Tom Morris. What do you think about the one grade? Let's see what the back looks like. I don't think I it's think, that bad. I don't. I don't think so either. Unless the back's just completely. It does have a mark. It says mark. So we oh, look at it. Mark. Look at the back. There's paper loss there. There's writing there. Yeah. I think it's just from a technical perspective. Why it's so. It one. actually presents really well on the front. It does. I don't mind this at all. I, yeah. I think we got a pretty good. On that side. Um, and also this one says Jay Morris instead of Tom Morris. It's just something you see out there. I did actually want to say one other thing, which is kind of funny. Because I saw this over here. Kind of like a reprint like this is the reason why I first discovered the Cope set. My grandpa picked up one of these before at a garage sale and has it hanging in his room. And uh, I had no idea what this was as a kid. Now I do because I collect. Uh, a lot of pre-war cards. Yeah. I, just kind of a funny story with that. And I think we're going to end off this video on here. Two amazing golf auctions. Make sure to check out the other recap if you didn't watch that other golf video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you want anything also, let us know down below. We're always curious with people who watch the channel uh, what you're purchasing at auctions.